Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Super video. My name is Z Free here today. We are going to go ahead and talk about uh, a lot of what is coming soon. And now I, I just want to make sure that everybody's aware as to what's happening here. So some of you guys have probably heard of or seen some of the videos pertaining to the DBSTCG. I have a separate channel where I typically cover a lot of this stuff. Every so often though, I will drop a video on the main channel just to keep you guys informed. So make sure you do check out this channel. Link will be down below. But again, we have a Broly card and we have ASS Gogeta cards. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about those here today. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. Now, um, if you do not play, right? If you do not play, again, this is a real life card game. It's not an app or anything like that. Uh, there was something like that way back. I always have to tell the story, but again, that's not what this is. But that being said, if you do not play and you're interested, now is a good time to start playing. I'll leave some links in the description for how like, you can get access to this, a guide, how to play, etc., etc. Um, but we do have a lot of Gogeta stuff that came in, and we also have a theme set that is coming out very, very soon pertaining to a lot of uh, the Frieza Saga stuff and all that stuff. So we also do have some uh, Dragon Ball Super-centric stuff. And then, of course, the next set will be featured 100% after this one a after this one it'll be 100 percent featured around the upcoming movie so again if you want to play now is a good time to start other than that uh the previous set that's already kind of out right now the most recent one features things like ss3 gogeta and all types of cool stuff so again now is a good time to start playing now moving on we're going to take a look at these cards so here is the backside of the gogeta and um you know when you flip him over he goes super saiyan so i'm going to go ahead and review them other than that Let's go ahead and take a look. So look at up to five cards once per turn from the top of your deck. Choose up to one red Sun Goku BR. So there's a character tag here uh, at the very bottom. It says character Gogeta BR. So they're actually not going to let you do things with this unit. Like, you know, his name's different. So you can't use Stole Punisher and stuff like that because it's not just Gogeta, I'm assuming. So also they're not going to let you Union Fusion, it seems like, with these new cards with old Goku and Vegeta cards. That's unfortunate. Anyways, choose up to one red Son Goku BR, uh, one red Vegeta BR card, or one blue Veku. So yes, Veku, if you guys did not know, should be in the movie. Um, Veku BR card, and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Uh, when your life is at four or less, you may choose up to two of your energy. Switch into active mode, and then flip this card over. So interesting it's just all pretty much allowing you to go through your deck and dig out your union fusion pieces pretty much so you can put out a gogeta on the board but we don't know what that gogeta is going to be because there's going to be another gogeta br card that you are presumably going to be playing so interesting this is the first leader i think that lets you search a certain number of cards off the top of your deck instead of like draw or something weird so you're digging out specific pieces. I don't know how I feel about that, but what that does mean is that you're pretty much going to have to play that package if you want to play this leader. Now, I didn't really talk about, by the way, on a, on a back note, I didn't really talk about how to get these cards. But let's go ahead and just read this really quick before I proceed. Uh, to commemorate the release of the new movie, you'll be able to get the first volume of a DBS Broly pack. So they're going to have, I believe, like four volumes of Broly packs or something like that. Uh, but anyways, buy two starters and six boosters with a friend during the promo period and you'll get a Broly DBS uh, pack volume one. Each pack contains one of the two unique cards. So there's only two cards, right? Front and back side. Uh, but it seems like it's going to be a thing that you do at a local store or something like that, buying that and they'll be able to hand it out to you. So I'll leave a link to this down below in the description for you guys to check out otherwise. So let's go ahead and flip over the Gogeta. Boom, Super Saiyan Gogeta. Um, they're just calling him Super Saiyan. I'm, I don't know if they're gonna call him Super Gogeta. It's the same thing, it doesn't really matter. Uh, when this card attacks, you draw a card. Okay, for two energy, with your activate main, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. Good. That's very good. Board clear is very good. Um, don't know if I like the two energy, but it's good. Because you can get anything off the board, assuming it does not have barrier. So, activate main. Once per turn, choose one of your energy and place it in its owner's drop area to draw two cards. Now, this is a very energy costy uh, leader. Like, I can see the value drawing three cards every turn at the expense of popping one of your energy at the bare minimum and just ignoring the middle effect, right? He is very good. That's a lot of that's a lot of hand advantage you to be generating. And then, of course, your super combos, other things. And it also depends, like, what the cards themselves do, the Gokus, the Vegetas, the Vekus, and the other Gogeta cards do that are going to presumably be coming out as well that this card is supposed to be used with. So, like, it's, it's interesting, but, like, I don't on the surface of it with like what we have accessible right now he just seems very very energy costly 
but he's lucky he's blue because blue has access to things like the unyielding trunks uh, which allows you to manipulate your energy a little bit better things like that so you can maybe use the middle ability then untap it do something with it and then pop it the good news is you can use that last ability to get rid of a uh, tapped energy so you know at the bare minimum you're getting rid of something you weren't going to use on the defensive anyway presuming that you weren't going to untap it with something like a Zeno button so that works so let me know what you guys think about this guy in the comments down below. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. But again, the name is different. So typically when the name is different, um, you're not able to use that for uh, other cards. Like I said, Soul Punisher probably isn't going to be applicable here. And uh, Union Fusion with the new Gogeta is going to probably specify Goku and Vegeta BR as well. Stuff like that. So moving on. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Broly stuff. So we have Broly. Uh, when this card attacks, you may choose one card from your life and add it to your hand if you do draw one card. So, I think Krillin was the first leader with that. Um, there might have been one more, but nonetheless, there's only a few leaders that have this ability. And it's very good, in my opinion. Again, very good hand advantage early on in the game. Also, Broly is a yellow leader with Frieza's army as a tag. <laughs> so, he's a Frieza army. Can he cold bloodlust? Cold bloodlust is Frieza army specific, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Broly is out here with everything he needs. Hold on, let me pull up the cards list. And we'll see if, I, I'm pretty sure the man can can bloodlust them. I'm, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna go to set one. <laughs> it, Cause it might say freeze a force that you need to be. That, that might be what it is, we'll see. I just need to, I need to make, make sure that I'm aware of this cause that might change my opinion on him altogether, depending on what he does anyway. Uh, freeze his army, yeah, he can cold bloodlust them. Now, Cold Bloodless is a disgustingly good card. It's not like the best card in the game or nothing, but that's really cool. So let's move on. Back over to the Broly. Um, when your life is at four lives, you may choose up two of your energy, switch it over. So very good. Here's the uh, front side, Broly the Awakened Threat. When this card attacks, draw one card. Now, by the way, the name is Broly BR, so the things that would work with a Broly leader um, probably don't work here because his name isn't just Broly. It's little weird things like that that make a difference. So... If you guys play Dokkan, you know, like, the, the, the small differences in the name actually matter. They are the difference between you being able to run the same unit on a team or things like that. So, uh, when he attacks, you draw a card. Once per turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Interesting. So, it's almost like Gogeta's ability, but Gogeta, for two energy, just gets it off the board. He doesn't even put it in the drop so it can be, like, revived with, like, uh, Child's Wish or something like that. You know, he just gets it off the board, puts it at the bottom of the deck. And and, and bottom of the deck is so, um, it can, I don't want to say de be degenerate, but, like, it can be very demoralizing because unless you have a way to shuffle your deck, that's just a card you are never going to see again, right? So that's interesting to see. But nonetheless, for two energy, he gets it off the board. Broly puts it in rest mode. Now, this is good, though, because there are a lot of yellow cards that do things with rest mode cards. Like, uh, there's the Whis Negate, for example, that forces rest mode cards, I believe, to stay in rest mode for the turn. Uh, there are just things like that. There's Crusher Ball. So there's a lot of synergy with just pushing cards into rest mode, locking them into rest mode, uh, swinging at cards, you know, that are in rest mode, whatever the case is. They, they have a lot of synergy in yellow. So I think that's very good, and that's part of the reason why he's a yellow leader. Activate main once per turn with a second ability. Choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. Again, that's not bad uh, because adding cards from life to hand typically generates hand advantage. If you can manage it, it's not a bad thing. Um, choose up to one of your cards, your cards actually, in rest mode and switch it to active. Wow, okay. This is interesting because this has a lot of utility. Like, it has a ton of utility. You can go from, you know, potentially having two things on the board that you need to get rid of and just put it back in active mode and you can just swing at both of those things and maybe get them off with one battle card this has synergy with things like miraculous gohan you're forcing a card into rest mode you can just pop them do two damage you know and then switch them back to active swing at their leader whatever you need to do this is a very good leader he has a lot of synergy with a lot of things and he's going to be, in my opinion, very, very powerful. Now, again, the Freeze Army tag is relevant because of Cold Bloodlust that allows him to stop some of those threats. But also, the thing is, too, um, the thing about the Broly, too, is that the secondary tag, I think that's the only way, maybe one of the only ways in the game to undo something like a 
crushable. You know, you play a card, sometimes it gets crushable and it's like it's dead for the turn. But Broly can actually force it back to active mode. So like things like that. So that's amazing utility. Or if you have a big bomb monster, uh, like a like a demigra or something like that, you know, the the secret rare demigra, you could swing, rip four cards, and then kind of go again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how that one works because it's just an auto before I say anything weird Let me go ahead and pull it up But like I'm pretty sure like there's a lot of utility with that and I like Gogeta But I just feel like Broly probably has you know the the better kit as far as like usability um, 10k combo obviously let me go ahead and pull him up and Combo energy too. what cards need two energy. I think like TN. I think he's the only card uh, And we're gonna go to black and let's see what we do so set four, black cards. Demi Grau, where are you? There you are. Auto, yep. When you play this card, your when this card attacks, excuse me, your opponent reveals their hand. You can just rip their hand all the way through. My gosh. <laughs> and any card that has an auto that says when this card attacks, that's not listed to like once per turn, is going to have amazing synergy with this Broly. Just things like that, man. Also. Another thing to uh, to note is that it says choose one of your rest mode cards and switch it to active. Now, this is crazy too because I've spent the most of the time talking about this leader and its synergy with battle cards. This is something that I'm happy that I am aware of now because I, I didn't even consider this in a video I did recently on my other channel. Is that since it says cards, it also means energy and this leader. <laughs> you can do a lot of things with this. You can restand your energy. You can do anything. Anything that's rested on your board can be restood once per turn at the cost of pulling one life. So. I, I just see a lot more here. I, I see a lot more here for Broly uh, than I do for Gogeta. But that's not to say anything you know, about this man, especially if they drop a blue Gogeta leader, things like that. So nonetheless, I hope that everybody enjoyed today's video. Again, be sure to check out D Free DBS TCG down below in the description uh, to the other channel. And just stay tuned there. Subscribe there. What you need to do to stay tuned with me. I post deck profiles. I do unboxings, that type of stuff over on that channel for the most part. I've just pretty much funneled that over there. That's been there for about a few months now other than that let me know you guys think if you guys do play the game if you're interested uh let me know what you guys are mainly looking forward to do you want to play do you want to just collect nonetheless now is a good time if you haven't already been if you're a big fan of gogeta and stuff like that now is a good time to just get into the card game and i have links down below for tutorials and just locations to pick up all of the products so thank you for tuning in hope you guys enjoyed subscribe if you were new and i'll catch all of you guys in the next one take it easy everybody